Okay, ladies and gentlemen, question number 24 is our last question on the test to review for Math 1033. Uh, let me say again, I'm very proud of you for working through this review. This is an excellent way to review for the test. Print out the review like you've done, look at the answer key, but then look at these videos when you need a little bit more of an extra touch on a problem or two. Not necessarily expecting that you'll watch all the videos, but the questions that you really need an explanation on, it's almost like a way of being in class and seeing the lecture over again. All right, so thanks for watching them. Let's go to our final question then off this test review. And we are going to look at question number 24. All right? This is also a linear system. Notice that no variable is isolated, meaning no letters alone. So we're not going to really consider substitution we're going to probably work with the addition method. Now, in general, it doesn't really matter which variable you eliminate, but I always try to teach my students to look for the most obvious choice. If we have to eliminate the x's, we would have to find, we would have to make the coefficient in front of both of these into a 21. One would be a negative 21, one would be a positive 21, but that means we would have to do something to both equations. I think it's a lot simpler on this problem to just eliminate the y's because all we have to do to accomplish that on the top equation we multiply it by 1 which is really say which really means we do nothing on the bottom equation we multiply it by 2 because look what that does that would make this term say negative 2y and then the positive 2y above it those two would then eliminate so if I take the top equation and I multiply it by 1, that's basically saying leave it alone. I get the opposite of 3x plus 2y is 7. So that's my first equation, just repeat it. When I take the second equation and I multiply by 2, which is what I mean by putting this arrow with the 2, that will become 14x minus 2y is equal to 4. Now look what happens. Now when I add both sides of the equations together this becomes 11x. The y's eliminate which is what we wanted to have happen and this is equal to 11. And then when I divide by 11 x is equal to 1. So now we have half of our answer. Alright? Our answer to a system when there's going to be a point of intersection has two coordinates, the x coordinate and the y coordinate. Once I know that x is 1, if I want to get the value for y, I can go back to either of these two original equations. Let's take the top one, which is actually going to be what? The opposite of 3x plus 2y equals 7. There we go. And I'm going to replace x with 1. We just found that x was 1. So we have negative 3 times 1 plus 2y equals 7. Negative 3 plus 2y is 7. When I add 3 to both sides, 2y is equal to 10. And when I divide both sides by 2, y is equal to 5. So what this means in this system, x equals 1 and y equals 5. If you want to write the answer as an ordered pair, the solution set here would be the set with the ordered pair 1, 5. What that means in terms of geometry is that if you drew these two lines, they would intersect exactly one time, and their point of intersection would be the ordered pair 1, 5. This is a consistent system because there's at least one point of intersection. And it's also independent because that means there's a unique point of intersection. So we are done with the test two review videos. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for the test three review videos and then ultimately the final exam review video.